Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by LineStar, your top three NFL player prop bets for week 19. We're talking the Miami Dolphins going up against the Kansas City Chiefs, and we've got three prop bets for you from this game along with touchdown calls of the game as well. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler, let's get this thing started. We got a cold one at Arrowhead Stadium in this one, the big storyline in this game. Temperatures expected to be around zero degrees. Tyler, I know from me, I can't handle that. That's, that's, just, too, that's just too cold. Too cold for me. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a cold one for sure, and possible snow and oh my wind factor burr. So one of the coldest games, definitely of the weekend, and something that Tua doesn't do too well is play in cold weather. In fact, Tyler, you sent me a couple stats on Tua in cold weather. 0-4 in cold weather games with temps below 45 degrees. His completion percentage drops from around his season average, which is 69, to about 55%. And his passer rating drops from 101 to 71.8. So something to consider in this one. Also, we've got, you know, I feel like it's worth giving everyone a physics lesson on how things, how weather affects the game in terms of prop betting, especially with cold weather. And you actually sent me a graph earlier that was pretty cool that kind of illustrates how cold weather impacts things like passing props and that sort of thing. So it's definitely something worth considering. Uh, Wind is a factor in this one as well. But with the cold weather, of course, cold temperatures creates denser air. It makes it a little bit tougher for that ball to get through the air. So Something worth considering. What is your thought on how the weather will impact prop betting in this game? Yeah, I definitely think there's going to be a little bit of a impact, but you know, we're, we're filming this on Wednesday. There's still several days, so we don't totally know what the wind is going to be like, but just cold alone is going to impact it. Going to be a little bit harder uh, for those guys throwing the ball, but if there is wind, it's going to be substantially worse. Well, before we get into our top three prop bets, I think one of the prop bets that I want to introduce to you, Tyler, is how many cutaways are we going to see of Taylor Swift in the stands in this one? What should we set the line? I haven't actually seen an official one yet, but I feel like on this show we can set our own line here. What do we think? Like Whatever it is, can we go under, please? <laughs> I mean, you got to think we're going over on that. Filter. The broadcasters are not going to be able to stop themselves from showing a million cutaways of Taylor Swift. Nonetheless, Ooh, we've got a great there. game in this. <laughs> we got a great I'm game sorry, in this Swifties. one. Taylor, I'm sorry. Tyler, obviously not a Swift. They're going to come the after Chiefs, me. <laughs> Chiefs are favored by four in this one. We've got some prop bets. We're using the Props AI tool, by the way, and the LineStar app to help us find the best edge in the prop market. You can use that as well. Just go to linestarapp.com. And we're also having a prop bets contest. If we go three for three, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. A comment also helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. So do us a huge favor. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. Also, the picks, most of them are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, Chalkboard. And if you don't have those apps, download them and use that promo code LINESTAR for up to $100 of your first deposit match. So let's start things off with a Kansas City prop here. This is one of LINESTAR's favorite props of the week, and it's going to be Patrick Mahomes over four and a half rush attempts. Now, this line was available, and now it's only available on DraftKings, but keep an eye on this one. It should pop up on the other apps throughout the week. LINESTAR's projecting uh, Mahomes for over that, and the averaging 4.7 per game over in 11 of 16 games this season. And Tyler, going up against a Miami rush defense, that's 23rd in rushing attempts allowed to opposing quarterbacks. What do you see from Mahomes in this one? Yeah, I think it's a good spot, you know, to attack here in a game that may not see a ton of throwing. So he may rush the ball a couple more times. Another thing, just, you know, throwing it out there, if uh, the two of stats of the cold weather comes true once again, yeah. there could be a situation where it's a kneel down and those do count as rush attempts. 
So not only can he, you know, rush the ball in the normal part of the game, he can kneel a couple more times to uh, secure the victory for us as well. All right, so that's the Line Stars pick of the week on the Props AI tool. Again, linestarapp.com is where you can find that. Now it is time for Tyler and I to give our best picks of this game. Tyler, where are you headed for your pick in the Chiefs uh, going up against the Dolphins? I'm going to go with Isaiah Pacheco, over 15.5 rushing attempts. Look, with the temperatures near zero, I think there's going to be a more emphasis on the ground, which that means. The guy that runs angry. I think they're going to give him the ball a lot. And Minnesota, or sorry, Minnesota, Miami has allowed 19.9 rushing attempts per game. I think Pacheco is going to have a lot of work. All right, for my pick, I got to go to Travis Kelsey because what I know about the Chiefs is that Travis Kelsey delivers in the playoffs. I know he's been a little bit lackluster as of late, but I'm taking the over on five and a half receptions at minus 115. Line start projecting the over here. In fact, he's averaging. 6.2 6.2 receptions per game. He's gone over 9 of 15. But when I looked up how he's done in the playoffs, man, this is a different animal. Over in 10 of 13 playoff games since 2019. Patrick Mahomes' favorite target for a reason. He always seems to come through in the clutch. I expect the same tonight going up against a Miami defense. That is 26th in receptions allowed to opposing tight ends. About 5 0.35 per game. Also, Miami's 30th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing tight ends. Tyler, you know I love my DVOA stat. Takes into account quality of opponent. So we love that stat. I also like the over on receiving yards as well. It started at 55 and a half. I took that then. It's since come up to about 57 and a half. I still like the over on receiving yards. But as I mentioned at the top of the show, with colder temperature, you got denser air. Passing props become a little less valuable to me in terms of that. So I know we can find some value in the receptions. I'm sticking with receptions, but I also endorse the over on receiving yards as well. What do you think about Travis Kelsey heading into this one? I mean, if Swift is there, he's got to go over, right? There you go. There you go. Tyler invoking the Swift reference. I like it. (laughs) And not forced either, I swear. Uh, We are missing some Miami props that are pretty crucial in this one. I know we took only Chiefs, and we wanted to go with uh, at least one Dolphins prop for you guys. Mm -hmm. However, there was just not a lot of value that we found in the prop market for Dolphins as of now. Right now, we are taping this on Wednesday, and we're still waiting on those running backs. That's where I think we could find some value Mm -hmm. on the Dolphins is Raheem Mostert or Devon Achan could have some nice props going up against a Kansas City defense that has struggled against the run this year. Tyler, if those lines come out, I mean, what are you looking for to come out that uh, hasn't yet for the Dolphins? Yeah, I definitely those uh, running back props. And then also just more information on uh, the status of Waddle. Because mm-hmm. with Waddle possibly being out, they haven't put up much, you know, or anything on him either. So I want to see uh, if he's going to be there and then and what those lines are at as well. Exactly. So keep an eye on that. Right now we're just rolling with those three Chiefs props. But, of course, you can check it out. Uh, on Props AI. It'll be updating throughout the week. So Props AI, again, is the tool we're using to find the best value comparing LineStar's projection to what's out there in the various sports books. LineStarApp.com is where you could find that. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below. Remember, if you go three for three on those Chiefs props, someone's winning $60. We'll announce it on the next show and get to use the money gun as well that I'm so anxious to use here in Week 19 Super Wild Card Weekend. Tyler, you got to add the super in there. It's important. You can't leave that Mm -hmm. off. All right, let's get to our touchdown calls here for Super Wild Card Weekend. The Chiefs going up against the Dolphins in this one. Who you like for an anytime touchdown? I got to go back to Isaiah Pacheco, minus 135. I don't really like hitting minus uh, touchdown props, but I think this is one that he should get in. Miami's allowing 0.6 running back uh, touchdowns per game. He's tied second most red zone targets on the team over yeah. – uh, you know, the last, what is it, four or eight weeks, and then he adds on 21 rushing attempts to that. So there's a there's a good chance that he gets an end zone, and I got to go Pacheco. 
I feel like Pacheco's become the most valuable player on the Chiefs outside of Travis Kelsey, which, or maybe even more so than Travis Kelsey at this point in the season. So definitely someone to keep an eye on, especially in this game going up against a Miami Dolphins defense. That's a bit, a bit banged up and depleted right now. So a good pick there for an anytime touchdown. For my pick, I'm going to a receiver who's really emerged this season for the Chiefs, and that's Rasheed Rice, plus 140 for an anytime touchdown. He's got seven on the year, 12 road zone targets the last eight weeks. That is the fifth of any wide receiver in wildcard weekend. Miami is 28th in opponent red zone scoring. They've had stru- they have struggled to keep teams out of the end zone and 29th in pass Old defense DVOA versus it's a place called the Struggle Street and that's where the Miami Dolphins are 29th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing teams wide receiver one. I like Rasheed Rice, especially with a little juice on that as well. I also like Travis Kelsey for an anytime touchdown as well. I, it wasn't my pick, my pick, but I feel like it's worth mentioning, especially with this woman in the stands. I don't know for sure if she's going to be there, but I assume she will. In which case, we got to see a touchdown, right? Can't go against Taylor Swift. <laughs> I, if Can't she's go against there, the I think it's in this likely. one. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the sides in this one. Now, Kansas City minus four. Who do you like from a sides perspective? Uh, look, I think minus four is probably a bit long. However, I do like the Chiefs to win this game. Uh, with, you know, the temperatures, it being at home in KC, I think the Chiefs are going to walk out uh, victorious in this. Yeah, somehow I just cannot bet against the Chiefs in this one. Even minus four against Miami Dolphins offense, that's pretty powerful. I just think, I also look at their defense, and I think they'll find a way to slow down to a tug of Iloa and that offense. I just... Kind of like the Chiefs in Arrowhead in those cold weather temperatures. We alluded to Tua's stats at the beginning of the show about how all his numbers significantly drop in cold weather in this one. And he's probably going to come out and say, oh, it's not going to matter at all. But I think those things do matter, especially when you're playing at Arrowhead. That is a tough place to win. I don't, I, I just don't see them covering. I think they've been a little bit inconsistent. And I think at this point in the season, it's, I'm more concerned about the defense for the Miami Dolphins in this one. Yes, I know the Chiefs offense has been struggling a little bit. Receivers failing to catch easy, easy balls. But I think that uh, Mahomes is going to have no problem. I think Andy Reid will figure it out in this one. You know, betting against the Chiefs in the playoffs seems just wrong. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Can't quit it, Tyler. Yeah, Andy Reid. Andy Reid is generally very good in the playoffs. I think the Chiefs will be fine. Having home field is a big advantage when you have these temps and a team that's not used to cold. Oh, zero degrees. And I I think I heard that it was it's even going to feel like below like 10 degrees, which is just too cold for me. Have fun with that fans at Arrowhead. That's going to be a cold one. Definitely going to need a hot chocolate or two for that. But I'll be watching from uh, my nice warm apartment. So we're all good. All right, that's going to do it for our breakdown of the Miami Dolphins going up against the Kansas City Chiefs. If you haven't already, again, comment below. Let us know where you're headed in the prop market for this game. Again, we told you we are still waiting on a couple Dolphins props, so Dolphins fans don't get too mad at us. We we didn't have a lot to choose from, but um, those running back props are something we are eyeing. So if later in the week they do come out, we'll comment below and say some more props that we like as the week you know progresses. So keep an eye out for that as well. That's going to do it. Good luck this weekend and enjoy Super Wild Card Weekend. See you guys next time.